Hi YMCA members, my name is Brandy and I am with the Sarpy YMCA. I have missed you guys so much. Some of you may know me from teaching group exercise, uh, whether it was body pump or a circuit or yoga. And I have missed seeing you in front of me and I hope you are staying well and safe and hope to see you again real soon. Until then, I have a 30 minute yoga with you today um, on social media. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some stress relief from it. Uh, kind of a deeper stretch, slower, slower flow that we've got today. And I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, we're gonna start in a seated position. You can be crisscross applesauce, or you can be a half lotus where you have one leg stacked on top of the other, or even um, both legs, um, feet kind of up on top of your knees into a full lotus. However is comfortable for you, that's um, where I want you to start. And at any point you need to modify in this workout, um, maybe not go quite as deep into the pose, I want you to listen to your body. Um, this is for you, this is your practice, and just um, go as, as much as you can or can't. So we're gonna start in seated position, and I want you to take a big inhale, arms reach, exhale, take it down to the side, inhale, arms up, exhale, one more time. This time, tipping at the hips, I want you to come down into a forward fold and hold that pose right there. Relax your shoulders. Make sure you're breathing through the pose. Don't hold your breath. Roll the spine up. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, tip again. Roll the spine up. Inhale, we're gonna do it one more time. Tip forward. Now from here, I want you to take a big deep breath. Inhale. And on the exhale, see if you can walk your fingers out just a little deeper. Okay, roll the spine up. From here, I want you to switch your leg position. Going to the other side, you'll feel, maybe feel a little difference in the hips when you do that forward fold, let's inhale up, tip forward. Taking big deep breaths. Roll it up, inhale up. Keeping your spine nice and long, really reach through the fingers. Roll it up, let's do it one more time, big deep breath, exhale, and hold. Now inhale, big deep breath, and on the exhale, walk your fingers out a little further. All right, roll it back up. From here, we're gonna kind of work on our AC muscle. So that's the neck muscle that runs from your shoulders up through into the neck. So we're gonna work on stretching that a bit. Um, one of the benefits of that, of that stretch, it releases some tension, especially if we have a lot of stress, it kind of releases some of that. When it does get tight, it tends to cause um, dizziness, um, even some nausea or tension headaches. So 
we're going through a lot of stress in our lives, this is a really good stretch for us to do on our neck. So you can rest your hands on your knees and I want you to tip your hip, tip your head to one side and then I want you to gently roll your neck forward over to the other side and then go back the other direction. Again, don't hold your breath, just keep breathing through it. One more time on each side. Nice and slow. Now when you get to one side, I want you to hold it and extend the opposite arm, pushing your hand toward the floor and hold. You'll feel that stretch right in that AC muscle going all the way up through the neck. Release your arm, then gently roll your neck over to the other side. Extend your other arm, pushing your hand through the floor. Release your arm, gently roll your neck back to the center, lift your head. So now we're gonna get into some spinal twists uh, to release some of that um, tension and tightness in our back. So I want you to extend one leg. Actually, I want you to bring one foot, if you can, up underneath the other side, bringing your opposite leg over the one that's on the bottom. So still kind of crisscross, we're just bringing one leg up. So from here, with that knee lifted, I want you to inhale, arms reach, Exhale, twist to the opposite direction of the leg that's on the floor. Hold that pose, gaze over your shoulder. And release. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it down. So with each deep breath you take during the pose, see if you can take your twist just a tiny bit further so you can get the most out of the pose. switch our leg position to go to the other side. All right, bringing your opposite leg up, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, go in the opposite direction. Gaze over the shoulder. Let's do it one more time. Inhale up and exhale. So one of the next things we're gonna work on is stretching our QL muscles. Those are the muscles that are just above your hips um, in that lower back area. It's a very difficult area to, to stretch. Um, so this is the, the next one we're gonna work on. So once you take one leg, extend it out. Your other leg is, your knee is bent, bringing your foot into your opposite thigh. Inhale up. Exhale, we're gonna come down to that extended leg, bringing our arm up and over. If you are flexible enough, you can bring that lower arm on the inside of your leg. The goal is to reach toward the foot, 
but pushing your shoulder back so that you feel that pull right in your lower back. Again, this is your practice. You go as far as your body allows. Don't force it. Just listen to what your body's telling you. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it back down. With each time you go into that pose, just see if you're able to get, if you're getting a little looser, taking a little deeper as we get warmed up. This time on the inhale, we're gonna swing our arms over to the other side. We're gonna lift our hips up, bringing our arm up and over our head. Really pushing through the fingers and the toes. You feel that pull all through your obliques and your lats. Those are your muscles underneath your armpits. Obliques are those side abdominal muscles. Good, and release. Let's switch sides. So extending your other leg. Bring that foot into the opposite thigh. Inhale up and exhale. And you may see as you're doing each side that one side may be a little tighter than the other. It's not uncommon to have imbalances in our muscles as far as the tightness goes and flexibility. Perfectly normal. Inhale up and exhale. Again, pushing your shoulder back so you can feel that pull in the lower back, that stretch. This is a common area for people to have some tightness in. So this is definitely an easy one to do at home to keep that area loose. All right, this time, inhale up, swinging the arms over to the opposite side, lifting your hips, bringing your arm up over your head, pushing through fingers and toes. And coming on down. So from here, we're gonna come over to our, um, into all fours, into a quadrant position. Our knees are stacked underneath our hips. Hands are underneath our shoulders. We're gonna go through cat and cow motion. So I want you to take a big deep breath in, and I want you to push your torso toward the floor, lifting your head in cow. Exhale, push that spine up toward the ceiling. Dipping your head toward the floor into cat. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale, lift. Go through those two at your own pace, making sure you're breathing between the two. As you come into cat, you will feel a stretch through those shoulders. Cow will feel a stretch through the chest. One more time. Coming back to flat back. From here, let's curl our toes. Push our hips back into down dog. In down dog, I want you to take your heels and start pedaling and pressing them toward the floor. Back and forth.
All right, pausing here, I'm gonna turn so you can see a little better. From here in down dog, I want you to take one leg, lift it up, and I want you to bring it through, having that foot in between your hands. So from here, I want you to take one arm, and I want you, the arm that's on the side of the leg that's in the front, I want you to take that arm and I want you to rotate it up toward the ceiling. I want your gaze to go with you. Feel that stretch all through the hips. You can choose to have that back knee up or you can drop it down to the floor. It just depends on where you are in your warm up and your flexibility right now. All right, now if you have your knee up, go ahead and drop it down to the floor. Bring your hand down, and I want you to walk the opposite foot, or that foot to the opposite hand. We're gonna walk it over, and I'm gonna move to the front so you can see this a little better. Walking it over, I'm gonna drop that knee down. That back leg is gonna work its way back, and we're gonna start here in pigeon. Taking deep breaths, just hold it right here with that chest lifted. We'll work our way down. Take a big deep breath in. On the exhale, take the elbows down to the floor. If you need to bring this foot closer to your leg because of flexibility, do so. This is, again, this is yours. Take it on down and just hold it. This is a great exercise if, you, if you've ever been in physical therapy for any type of hip issues. This, you've probably seen this before. Great stretch on your piriformis muscle in the glutes. Those who have sciatic issues, this is a good relief for it. This is one of my favorite poses. All right, let's take our hands, lift ourselves back up. Curl your toes on the back side, lift that knee, bring your front leg back, three-legged dog, and then bring it on back to down dog. All right, let's go to the other side, lifting the other leg up, three-legged dog, Bring it forward, that foot is in between your hands. All right, taking the hand on the same side that the leg is forward, reach for the ceiling, pushing that shoulder back, gaze toward the ceiling with it. Again, knee up or knee down, that's entirely up to you. All right, if the knee is up, bring it down to the floor. Hand comes back down, walking the foot to the opposite hand, dropping your knee down to the floor, going back into pigeon on the other side. Keep your chest lifted for now. Again, your position with that foot, with that leg, if you can get it to 90 degrees, great. It's not required. You gotta bring it back a little bit. Have a big, have more of a bend in the knee. That's up to you. Take a big deep breath in. And let's take it down to the mat. On the exhale. Take your hands, 
Press them into the mat. Lift yourself up. Curl the toes. Lift in the knee and press in your leg back in three-legged dog. And coming back down into down dog. So from here, we're gonna go into sun salutations. So how I like to do sun salutations is kind of like a building block. So we're gonna just build into each part of it. So from down dog, I want you to inhale and come to plank. Flat back, your booty's down, your hands are stacked under your shoulders. Bracing your core. Inhale, and on the exhale, come back into down dog. All right, let's do that one more time. Inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. All right, now we've got that part. We're gonna add the next piece. So, inhale, plank. Now exhale, bringing your el keeping your elbows close to your body. You're gonna come down to chaturanga. Push your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale back to plank. Working those triceps. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. All right, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or down dog. Like I said, it's a building. I like to do building blocks, so we're going on to the next piece. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga. Now, inhale, cobra. Lifting the head, lifting your chest, keeping those elbows right at your side. Inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, and down dog. One more time, plank. Chaturanga and Cobra. Chaturanga, plank, and down dog. All right, going to the last piece. We'll see if our bodies are ready. You're welcome to do this or we'll stick to what we've been doing. So, come down to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or if we're ready, up dog. Curl the toes, push the hips back, down dog. One final time. Plank, chaturanga, cobra, or up dog. Curl the toes and sit the hips back. Bring your knees down to the mat. Open them up, push the hips back, child's pose. Resting your forehead down on your mat, really reach through your fingers. Because this isn't only just a stretch in the hips, it's also in that upper body. If you need to get a drink of water, now would be a great time. All right, bringing our hips up, back to all fours. We're gonna bring our 
bodies down to the floor. We're going to do a little bit of core work. So rotating over, we're going to go to a boat pose. This one's a tricky one for some. Um, it definitely pulls into balance work. Um, so first, it's in some other formats, you call it a V-sit, but in yoga, it's a boat. So I want knees bent. We're going to start here, arms extended. So you can stay here and just hold this pose. We're going to work that core. You really got to brace it. Relax your shoulders. It can be here, here, or advanced here. You will start to shake, and that's okay. Modify if you need to. Gaze forward, arms extended, and hold it. Are you starting to shake yet? your feet down and let's roll our spine down to the mat bring your feet closer in and we're gonna go to a bridge so I want you to squeeze those hamstrings and glutes and I want you to press your shoulders and your heels into the mat lifting your hips up in a bridge hold it right here just hold that pose we'll add a little more This is great work on your posterior chain, that lower back, which is still part of your core, glutes, hamstrings. From here, I want you to walk your shoulder blades together. Once you get them together, grab your hands underneath the body, lifting those hips higher. Bring your hands, release them, bring them back to the mat, walk your shoulders out, and roll the spine down. So we're gonna move into happy baby while we're on, flat on the ground. So I want you to bring your knees up in toward your chest. Your hands can either stay here on your knees, they can be on your shins, on your hamstrings, or you can take your first two fingers and grab your toes. You want those legs just close to the body, and then if you're able, open your legs up. And if you'd like, add a gentle rock back and forth. And hold it. Now, releasing one leg down to the mat, keep one leg close to the body. We're going to take this knee and we're going to drape it over the leg that's extended. Our gaze is going to go to our arm that's extended out. That's the same side of leg that the leg is extended over the other one or draped over. So your gaze is going to go with it. You'll feel that. Nice stretch all through your hips and even into the spine. If you want to take it deeper, extend that top leg, lengthen it out. Just try to keep both shoulders on your mat. All right, bend that knee, bring it over to the top, extend it out, bring the other knee up, hug it close to the body, and let's drape it over the other leg. Your arm is gonna extend out, shoulders pressing into your mat, gaze goes to that hand. Again, if you want a deeper stretch with it, a little more, extend that top leg.
All right, release it, bring it in, and extend both legs out. Bring your hands to your side, arms right next to you, palms face the ceiling. Kind of pushes those shoulders into your mat, preparing your body for corpse. Close your eyes, take a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again. Take just a few moments to let it all go. This is your time, your peace, to let your body melt into the floor, to clear your mind, and to just be with yourself. This gives us time to be thankful, be thankful for our health, for our safety, If you're ready, this is entirely up to you, you take your time. You can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes to wake up the body a little bit. Then roll over to your right side, bringing your right hand under your head. Take your left hand, press it into the mat, lift yourself up, and come back into seated position. All right, let's take a big deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale up. Hands come together down to heart center. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.